before we start, if you want to take the any photography whatsoever, please make sure the flash function is switched off. We don't want any screen flashes getting in the way of our athletes. So just please check the flash function. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Boxing Scotland, once again, very warm welcome here to the Ravenstreet Regional Facility for this dual match, Scotland versus Ireland. Sanctioned by Boxing Scotland, the official in charge of supervisor, Mr. Dougie Fraser, he's alongside Mr. Norman Watt, our medical officer is Dr. Ronnie Sidney. Our timekeeper at the bell, Mr. Ryan O'Rourke, and in charge of the action for this one, veteran championship referee, would you please welcome star referee, Mr. Donald Campbell. So this is an opening contest in the 67 kilo division, 3-3 three, three minute rounds, youth, welterweight action. Introducing first, boxing out of the red corner, representing Ireland, Colonel Smith. <laughs> and of the blue corner, representing Scotland, Drew The silence is deafening. <laughs> so we've got Drew Lemond in the blue corner and Kyle Smith representing Ireland in the red. This is bout number one. So Round have, uh, number one. Drew being cornered by his father, uh, Willie Lemond, a very experienced uh, former professional boxer. I believe he boxed Eric Morales, the Mexican legend. It has suddenly got very quiet. <laughs> yeah, it's usually like this the first, the first bout. I don't mind shouting. I'll start cheering on. I'm sure it'll warm up. So yeah, the first of thirteen international contests this evening. So we were joined by a uh, couple of top boxers, Tyler Jolly and Aaron Cullen, both on the the stream. Shout out to the both. Tyler will be boxing as soon as he turned pro. He's turned pro, yeah, he'll be making his pro debut soon, so good luck to Tyler for that. I need to get one of yeah. the t-shirts he was advertising. Yeah, I did see them, yeah. So Tyler, a bronze medalist at last summer's Commonwealth Games. So we've been quiet as well as well. Yeah. We're just watching. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just waiting for. Also here tonight is uh, Jake Lemindrew's brother, who's a, a young professional. I believe he's maybe going to join us. Yeah, he's he's maybe going to grab us um, and jump on. I well, was speaking to Ricky Burns earlier. I was trying to get him back on, but uh, he's busy. He's coaching tonight. Yeah. <laughs> We had to really twist his arm to get on the commentary at the Elite Finals last year. But he did it, it was great to, to have the chat with him. And uh, He's on coaching duty tonight, a former three-time world champion. Uh, Tyler, Joel, you owe us money for that advertising. <laughs> Both these lads staying um, in the centre of the ring. There's a lot of space in there. But a bit to and fro and a bit teasing, I think, as well. But nice movement from both. It's final 10 seconds of the round, number one. We were speaking about table tennis earlier, Clips and DeSantos <laughs> yeah. pretending to be the Northern Irish table tennis player. I'll tell you who's an unbelievably good table tennis player, uh, Tyler Jolly. Tyler Jolly. He was beating everyone down in Birmingham. So Tyler's table tennis, uh, Sean Lazzarini was chess. 
Sean Lazarini beat me at chess. Yeah, I didn't really have a very successful game, to be honest. <laughs> Lewis Richardson from England uh, beat me at table tennis as well. So I was quite happy when Sam Hickey stopped him <laughs> in the second round of their semi-final. <laughs> so um, first round for me was, I think, quite even. I've seen. Yeah, um, I don't. I don't think either box are really, really dominated or, or grabbed that first round. But feeling each other out, as you would expect. Um, first. First bout. I'm conscious of this music that's playing behind us, so I'm just uh, hopefully we talk over it. Um, just about got to round number two. Do you think being behind the paywall might help with the music or not? Um, well, they warned me don't play any music that you don't oh, own. Okay, okay. <laughs> so that's probably no. This is our opening contest of the evening, a youth welterweight contest. Drew Lemon of Scotland in the blue versus Kyle Smith from Ireland in the red. 12 more international contests to come after this one. I'm going to international contest, I like this. It's, it's very, the pace mm -hmm. is like no boxer earlier on doesn't want to take too much of a risk. Um, yeah. But we see. Do slowly try to open up and Kyle responding uh, quite nicely. And Kyle using that jab where I see a wee bit of blood there, I think, coming from Drew. Just, just speaking of the Commonwealth Games, uh, Northern Ireland had a phenomenal. Commonwealth Games last summer, five gold medals finishing top of the the boxing medal table. Um, That's why we set this up poorly. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, you just need to come out here and we'll, we'll get even. I, also, I think, believe Scotland were third in the medal table uh, ahead of England. So both Scotland and Northern Ireland finished ahead of England on, on Neil, English Neil, soil. Uh, Neil Lock, England, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm enjoying this now. I think Kayo is, is very well composed. There you can see he's comfortable now, starting to open up a wee bit, great head movement. Um, now we see him opening up a bit. More throwing, more jabs. Do try to respond. That slight uh, nosebleed must, must be bothering him a wee bit. can hear the instructions from his father, Willie Lemond in the corner there for, for Scotland. I spoke to both uh, Drew and Jake um, in the past, like on the um, podcast, um, about what it was like growing up with Willie Lemond, your, your dad, mm -hmm. with both um, box at a very, very young age. Jake's a bit different, he done uh, football um, and then moved to, to boxing. Right. He's now pro. And but Drew is, is just in great shape. I think over the last few years he's, he's really found himself in boxing. Big body shot there, just as we got into the last 10 seconds around number two. Very cagey affair so far as we come to the end of round number two. And uh, we did not have open scoring for this competition. Uh, so we're in the dark how the scores are. Obviously, yeah. a lot of international competitions. You see the scores round on round, how things are going. Um, so we, we've no idea who's up, who's down. Feels like it's still there, there to put up, you know. I think for me, Kyo, um slightly just edged that round. He started getting a bit more busier. Um, I think Drew is, is looking to go bounce back and uh, make this third round really interesting. Uh, first round for me was, was too even. But both of these boxers will be looking to... Yeah. If anything, though, I would say that there looks to be more urgency in the Scottish corner in between the round there that maybe suggests they feel they need a, a big round to, to, to win this contest. It looks like a bit more animated there in, in the Scottish corner. 
This is third and final round of bout number one. Yeah, the Scotland versus England duel international. Oh, England. Ireland, <laughs> wow. <laughs> It was you that brought up England first, not me. <laughs> Scotland versus Ireland, Joe International. <laughs> See, Kayo just slightly teasing. Do that. Drew turning south Paul and he's going back to Orthodox there, just a little bit of switch it and he's kinda of gone back to his regular Orthodox stance now. Body shot there from Drew. Nice work there from Drew. Um, Kyle Sconner just shouted every time he goes tight, punish him. Um, so there is tactics there that they they'd be looking to to use. Nice work there from from Drew. Okay, you're looking to respond. I think Drew's been more successful in this round. Um, he's up these these gears a wee bit. Yeah, I think we were both transfixed there, but <laughs> we were yeah. just both so closely watching it. It feels like um, one of these ones you can't take your eyes off, even though it's not the busiest of fights. It's just it's so cagey you can't can't take your eyes off it. It feels like you know one or two moments is really going to be decisive in this contest and I think it's Kyle's great um, movement he's he's getting out of there when he needs to but he is getting caught um, earlier in the round he got caught a few times with Drew we yeah again. so t final few seconds it is going to go to the five judges at ringside wow um, I don't know what to say. I think it's 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 got to be close. Yeah. Um, for me, Drew was busier that round. Um, I did think Kyle picked up the setting, the first. I think maybe a bit too close for me to call. I think Drew had his biggest round in in the third and final round. Uh, probably be the question of did he do enough over the first two uh, to get the decision? But he's on home turf. If they're close, will they go Scottish? Mm. We'll we'll wait and see. So. Um, so we will pass back to Craig Stephen uh, with the official announcement in the ring. Did that feel in there? Uh, good to be sharp. So I basically got a hard fight physical, but it's a good chest battle. It was really good to be sharp. We're saying on the commentary there, a really cagey affair. Uh, it felt like one or two moments were really going to be decisive in there. I, I didn't know about it. If I'm jumping in and he catches me, that's me putting catch up for round one. So I didn't know get caught with something big early and asked me in the asked me in the front foot. But just I see my dad and Ricky and Ian, um, Robbie and Ian, and just stuck to the game plan. It worked. You had a big final third round, it looks like you won that one clear. Were you confident you'd done enough over the first couple of rounds? He landed a couple of shots in the first two, but it wasn't anything like he came forward. He was just skiffing his when I was coming in. So I, I thought 
I thought I won the first two. Then the last round, I just he started to him up. I, I thought he thought he was behind, so I, so he started coming forward and just catch them, catch them. That was your first international contest of this year. Are you hoping for a, a big 2023? Of course, I want, I want everything. And also, I get a big thanks to my sponsors, Conley Sport. Um, fuck, I forgot. Conley Sport, Ernock Builders, and the Daimler Foundation. They do, they do everything for this man. Fucking, I appreciate them so much. And how was it having your dad in the corner there? Good, I've asked him for the time he's been my corner on an in international duty. And my dad's been there, he's done it all, I'm not going to disagree with him in the corner. I like what he says to me and it worked. Well, well done tonight, Julian. Look forward to seeing more of you in the future. Thank you, cheers.